Welcome to St Andrew's Church here in Buckley Corner Corum. This is why I recorded two songs from Kitty J. All those years ago. I'm going to start off with John Lomas though. This is the song that begins the album. It's the story of a, a servant who helps his mistress and murders for love. J album was recorded by and produced by Sean, my brother, and we were working very closely at that point, and he was experimenting a lot with production. He's got an amazing mind, Sean. He's uh, one of the, the best creative minds I know, and we had a very, very close relationship then. And Kitty J recorded very quickly in three weeks, um, and it was his idea to layer the, the violins in that really powerful, almost orchestral sound, you know? You got the bowed bass at the bottom, right to the top of that sweeping, quite harsh, frantic little thing. Um, uh, and a lot of the production on there, the hand clapping at the start, Sean's ideas, yeah. Fantastic uh, vision 
he had at that point, as, as into Freedom Fields he had as well. So it's a really, you know, it's a really important point for us, I think, um, as you know, creative minds together, me and Sean. It was a, a really exciting time. Within two years, those, I think within a year actually, both those albums were recorded, written, recorded and, and produced. And so that was our, yeah, our sweet spot. Down on the floor, green old field, there lies a knight slain under his shield. His hounds he lie down at his feet, so well they can, for them must to keep the bold night above. Could she that angel with her? had the call from Harriet that I was nominated for the Mercury Music Prize, I was actually going to a gig with Benji Kirkpatrick, I remember, and the car pretty much broke down as soon as I got to the gig there. Um, so I told Benji, we didn't quite understand what it meant, I'll be honest, I was excited, but I didn't quite understand the impact it would have on me and my career. I kind of thought this is a good chance to have a proper career now. At that point, I, I think I'd done one, maybe, maybe two trio tours. It was me, Ben Nichols and Sean. And it was a chance I saw at having a, a proper career. That was all I really thought about it. I didn't think anything else would come from it. Um, anyway, went and did the gig with Benji. And then I scrapped the car there and then. I left the car that I drove <laughs> and I had to get the train home. It's hilarious. Um, and then I went back and I started to realize, after speaking to a few people, that actually it was quite a big deal. And people like Coldplay and you know, all these big, big artists were up, up for it. 
so uh, that was the beginning of, I guess, you know, the real, um, I, I think the real career that I've had 20 years in. So this is a, a slower song. This is Fight for Favour. I haven't sung this one for years. And this is the story I wrote about emigration to the Americas and the battle to claim land. Sing you a song How first we began Our trials and our troubles Our plot and our plan We left our fair country men And all our friends in our homes Across to the dead and the mountains to roam We travelled three weeks Till we came to the plat We set up our camp Ahead of the pack Now in just a moment We heard a faint yell The five hundred cavalry And they were riding from hell We fight for favor Fight for our lives. We made a bold dash, gained it to our train. The bullets fell around like showers of rain. And with our long rifles at hand, we fed them hot lead. Many a brave warrior fell down And around us lay dead We fight for favor We will fight for your pride Fight till they die Travel by day But guard in the night Across all those mountains So high in their might Now in a green valley we live Beside a clear old stream Our journey now ended, thank God, in the land of our dreams. We fight for favor. We fight for your prayer. Fight for 
So this is the grave of Kitty J, the young servant girl who took her in life and is buried at this crossroads here, just on the edge of Manhattan. There's a lot that came from the story of Kitty and the fresh flowers that are laid by an unknown hand every morning. I mean, that's something, that mystery is so evocative, I find. It's a big inspiration to me in that Dartmoor-themed album. This is the story of Kitty J. Stand 